Hello, this is my YouTube channel. This is the first video of my YouTube channel. It's going to be an introduction to this channel and uh, also a call for feedback because I will need your help. My name is Veronique and I'm a blogger. Uh, I started my blog Vida Cirque when I was on maternity leave in 2011. Over the years my blog has attracted a very faithful and really quite awesome readership that is also very small and uh, but it's awesome and uh, my readers have encouraged me to start a YouTube channel so there we go I'm gonna be needing your help because video editing and video making is not my skill set and I learn by doing so you tell me what to do and I get to improve so this is how it works so um, I'm a mother, mother of nine children and um, my oldest daughter is uh, 19 um, you see that's the first test thing we'll see if she can remember all her kids ages because what you're not seeing is that this is the third take of this video and I've missed my children's age. Um, yes, so my oldest daughter is 19 and um, she's in university. We also have an 18 year old son who is also in university and currently the only one of our children who does not live at home and we miss him very much. And then we have um, at home with us, we have a 15 year old daughter, a 13 year old daughter, a nine year old son and a six year old daughter. And uh, these four are um, homeschooled. And then also at home, not yet homeschooled, we have four year old twins and a one and a half year old little guy who thinks he's 14 and he's the um, awesomest baby. Uh, he's really quite cute. I think I really outdid myself with this guy. So, uh, so these are our children and uh, my blog talks about, I talk about family life and parenting and um, with a little smattering of rants. Uh, I used to be a uh, writer for a federal member of parliament so I like to comment on all things politics um, when I can uh, and uh, that really distracts me from uh, folding laundry and uh, doing the cooking and the cleaning and all the stuff that comes with having a large family. So uh, with this blog, I'd like to uh, let you into our daily life a little bit more. I'd like to have a more conversational style as that maybe is not um, optimal with, with a blog, with writing. Um, I, so um, so this, is, this is what I'm hoping to achieve with this blog. It's really helpful if you give me a topic. So I, I'd love to have your comments and your questions and you're you know give me a topic please give me a topic so for today as um, because this is a my first youtube channel and i don't want to just be rambling about myself um I, as a as a mother of a large family i think everybody's question is how do you do laundry it's really funny because you know when you have nine children you know i have young adults, I have teenagers, I have children, I have preschoolers, I have an infant, um, and really um, raising men and women, you know, raising people who will become men and women of, of stature in the world may, will make a difference, you know, and not just by winning Peace Prize, you know, Nobel Prizes, and it, I, I I'm really hoping to raise people who are meaningful contributors to the world around them, right? Like, it may be small, it may be just like me at home, cooking and cleaning. It just may be by being good people to their colleagues, being good neighbors. It's okay, it doesn't always have to be world changing. Although I think if enough people are really nice at the same time, the world will change. But, you know, I don't, but you know, that's, when I think about the challenges of raising a large family, that's what keeps me up at night. And what everybody wants to know is how do I deal with laundry? So there we go, I'll tell you. Well, it would be too long to tell you how I deal with laundry because really like, well, too long and too short in a way, right? Because how do I deal with laundry? It gets dirty, I wash it, right? And so I just do it often. In fact, I do it every day, more than once usually. But uh, I just thought I would let you into the tricks, the trick 
the magic of socks in a large family. So I'm sure all of you have a big bin of socks that are mismatched and if you're like me, um, maybe you spent what seemed like hours looking for the right sock, right? Like, you know, we're off to school, we're off to church, and then all of a sudden we need to find socks. Well, my kids, you know, they never had matching socks. In fact, once I gave my five-year-old daughter two matching socks and she gave them back to me and she said, those are the same. So that's, you know, that, that's what my, that's my children think that socks are by nature mismatched. I have a daughter who thinks that two socks that match just don't go to, like she can't imagine that they even go together. So that's, that's how bad our sock situation was. And so until we decided to, to end it all, I just put, you know, we moved a lot over the years and, um, you know, I had a bag of socks, of mismatched sock I had moved about three times, you know, we're thinking like, I think we have this sock, this single sock since three moves ago. Maybe we won't find the other one. So what we did is that at some point I got really sick of it and we put all the socks, the mismatch, the, the damage, everything, we put them in a big bag and we threw it out. And then we went to Superstore, which in Canada is a large grocery store that also sells clothes. I don't know what you call this in uh, wherever you're listening this from. So Superstore, big store, grocery, clothes. Eh. And I bought, so we have in our five youngest children, there are nine, six, four, four, and one. And really like socks, I don't know. Like, I don't think they need to be, to fit perfectly. Like I'm not a sock absolutist here. So, so maybe this is why this solution works for us. And I bought child large white socks. I bought two bags of, with eight pairs in each. So that's like 16 pairs of large white socks. These socks fit my nine-year-old son and my six-year-old daughter, but they're a bit big for her, but they fit. Then I bought medium black socks. Those fit my six-year-old daughter and they fit my nine-year-old son, but, oh, I got it wrong. I think, yeah, sorry. The black are large. They're my son's socks. Those fit my nine-year-old son and they're big for my six-year-old daughter, but she wears them anyway. Then the white socks fit my six-year-old daughter and they're a bit small for my son, but he wears them anyways. It's really easy to match because there's only one size of black socks and one size of white socks, right? And so if one has a hole, because I can sew, um, I didn't tell you about my background. Eh? My background is law, so I have a law degree and then I have a master's degree in law with a specialization, specialization in biomedical ethics. And so um, this is all head here. We're all, talk we're, we're all head. So there's no, there's no sewing. There's no practical skills. When the zombie apocalypse happened, I'll be the first one to die. So I can't, I can't sew. So, so when there's a hole in a sock, I throw it out and it's got a matching sock automatically. There's a whole bunch of other black socks that are just the same waiting for a match. See? Um, and um, it, throwing the sock, I, I'm sure this sounds like a lot of weight. Like, yes, I guess it is a lot of waste. It's not that much waste really when you think about it. Um, because we don't go through them like that quickly. But when it's really wrecked, I throw it out. And then we're not done yet because I, I have four-year-old twins as well. And so our tw then I have sort of black socks that are a size three or four, you know, for children age three, four. And then smaller white socks. And those, the blacks and the white, they fit my one-and-a-half-year-old and my four-year-old. 
they're socks, they stretch, right? And so there's only white socks of that size and black socks of that size. So it's really easy to match once again. And when they get wrecked or lost, they have an automatic um, a friend in their sock basket. So see, small black socks, large black socks, small white socks, large white socks. It fits all the feet, all the feet for my five youngest children. This is how we do socks in a large family. And uh, we also, for the grown-ups, uh, we, uh, we splurge. We go to Costco. Yes, that's our splurge. And we buy merino wool socks at Costco. And um, that would be your first, um, your first inked that I'm not a lady. I'm, I'm just not. No makeup no hair, um, those are the socks I wear. Actually, not really, they also have lady merino wool socks. I've got those, my husband got those. It's easy, it's super easy, right? His socks, my socks, and then white socks, black socks. It's, it's super simple. So this is how we do socks in a large family. I hope you found this interesting. I'm hoping to share a lot more about how we do the large family thing here and uh, I hope you will um, ask for um, ask for topic because I love to talk but it's a lot easier to talk when I'm given a topic so please ask away and give me your feedback tell me if the sound or the lighting are off and um, I'll be happy to uh, well, if you can even tell me how to improve it that'd be great because I'm sure I don't know that so, so thank you for listening and uh, please comment away. Thank you.